I have kind of always had a passion for giving students voice and power in the classroom. I think a lot, as you heard from my students, they feel often feel oppressed by public school systems just because teachers have to hit certain standards and make them take certain exams to make sure they are learning. So kind of my goal as a teacher has always been how do I or the question I've grappled with is how do I not only hit my standards that I'm required to to do but give students a little bit of choice and a little bit of voice in the matter. What I did was I set up this Instagram account as Aaron is going explains had them draw pictures of themselves have they represent themselves um to kind of remove that ego what is pretty what is not pretty let me rep- they represent themselves and then i asked them a ton of questions about what they like about school what they hate about school if they could create their ideal setting what would it look like what would they study and they kind of answered all of these questions and the instagram account is ultimately them holding up their pictures in front of their faces and snippets of what they said about education and how they feel about what's going on. My injustice that I was hoping to target through this plan is having students be heard by a larger community, also using Instagram, which is a platform that students use a lot of the time, so that not only would the word be out in the in the world, but it would be seen by other students so that ideally they would feel empowered and they would want to get involved in this movement to have their own voice in education and be heard by teachers and adults and administrators who so often don't listen. So I think what I see for students says is that it started in my classroom. I would like to create this to be a lesson plan that I can extend to all other teachers across Chesterfield County. I would like the Instagram to kind of spark a movement as large as it possibly can in order to lay the foundation for my mission in my in the future to either work for a a um like a self-funded school system that focuses on social justice education or for a nonprofit that works through after-school programs and weekend programs to empower students still teach them but be teaching them more about life than about school standards. If it's a county and then it can be a, a region, then it can be a state, then it's a na- or a, sa- a coast and then it's a nation and then it's the world. Like every everything starts with a little bit of change. So like a little like our little bit helps now, but then when we get to the part where it k- takes another step and it takes another step. And that's why we wanted to use Instagram because like you can really like get it out to the people that matter. For my students this activity they love doing it um like we took an hour out of a class for them to just draw themselves we use their chromebook technology to help them make look more realistic um and they also really understood that student voice is my passion and they were excited to jump on and have a voice and they also love instagram so it's just a way for them to follow and have another instagram follower and read up on what their peers are saying. The only negative feedback I got, which I don't even want to call it negative, it's just been consistently a problem with empowering students is that I did this project and clearly their research project is challenging them to do a social action plan and it's been a process to get my students to believe in themselves that they can also do something. And um kind of teaching them that something as small as this and getting the word out in a little way is impactful. Um getting over that hump for them and having them kind of jump on the I can do something as a 14-year-old has been my biggest challenge. Coincidentally, the portraits were not my original intention. Um I wanted to take pictures, kind of make it like a humans of New York type Instagram if you're familiar yeah. with that yeah um but when i was told by administration i wasn't allowed to photograph the kids one of my students Aaron Baker brought up the idea of doing portraits and i think the reason that actually is makes my project so unique is because there's such a 
problem right now, I think, with youth body image and self-confidence and Instagram and social media fosters that. Um, you can change your filter, crop your pictures, make yourself look not like you actually look, and then you crave people to like what you look like. And if you don't get likes, you'll delete your picture or you're embarrassed and all of these things. So I think what's amazing about this project is it allows kids to be their real self. It shows that like, this is what I think is beautiful. This picture in front of my face. And I know this is me. I don't care. I don't have to take pictures and students be worried. Oh, does my face look okay? Do I look fat? Am I too pale? Am I too dark? Whatever. This is how they see themselves and kind of eliminating that I need likes and I crave this attention because of how I look. Look at what I've made and look at what I have to say. And that is what makes this unique. I also think an, another awesome way to keep it going and promote it is just by having kids I, through clubs or after school programs or anything have kids start talking about it because what I have found is that kids want to talk about injustice. They want to talk about the problems with school and how to make them better. And they have amazing ideas, but just no one ever asks. And I've gotten a lot of, some of the pushback I've gotten has been, oh, well, kids don't care. They're so wrong. They've just never asked because I've done this with honors kids. I've done this with lower level kids. I've done this with my friends in colleges and parents and people really care and they want to be heard and they have good ideas. Just no one asks and no one gives time to that cause. But if I go to a school where I'm not, where I'm restricted and I'm changed and I'm in a I'm in a box and the only thing that I'm handed is tests and a, and a number two pencil so that the Scantron can read it. You know, that's not right. That's not what I want. We want to be able to break out of that box and learn and touch things and smell things and taste things and really digest the things. And then, you know, we're going to produce some stuff that's going to benefit somebody. You can feel free to contact me at Veronica underscore Zuccarello at ccpsnet.net. I work at Monacan High School, and the Instagram account is posted up behind me. Follow us at student underscore says on Instagram.